Stan Gibalisco here. Um, I'd like to just show you how to put two wires together, connect two wires with a temporary splice known as a twist splice. Now these happen to be stranded <coughs> wires about AWG number 22, which is pretty fine wire, the red one and the black one. They're stripped about an inch or maybe two and a half centimeters, two to two and a half centimeters, so that the conductors are exposed for two to two and a half centimeters, and then the insulation continues on after that. You simply place the two wires together like this, and then twist, making a uh, some effort to ensure that the ends of the wires end up pretty much in the same place. You don't... Now these are... these wires are identical in size and that's... you should always try to make wires as nearly identical in size as you can. With stranded wires like this you can just twist... keep on twisting after you think it's twisted as much as it'll twist, okay? And then there you got your twist splice. Now, <clears throat> I would recommend that you always solder a wire splice. These are copper wires, so ordinary electronics workbench solder will work here. Solder a connection like this. It'll make sure that it lasts longer. It'll give it some additional tensile strength because Twist splice is pretty easy to pull apart. That's just a temporary method of splicing wire. A more permanent weather, uh, a more permanent method, known as the Western Union splice, I will demonstrate in another video. For the moment, so long.